everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at The Cove we do budgeting, financing, anything planning related you can find it here. Um, if you're new here I do have two online stationery stores. One is through Etsy where I offer these downloads right here and other downloads such as dashboards and things like that. Also I have a shop on Shopify where you can purchase actual physical stickers. We have functional stickers, creative stickers, anything you want, you can find it there. Um, I'll be sure to leave all the information below in the description box. So you guys, today we're doing a Monday, excuse me, Money Monday. I haven't checked in in a while. I've been kind of busy with the shops, but I'm back, I'm here, and I've been trying to think how can um, I kind of leave uh, not necessarily anything out, but how I can show you more with not disclosing so much income, but still um, just show you what basically how I pay my bills, especially now that I am pretty much part time as a hairstylist, but more so full time trying to work my businesses. So um, I redid our up, I, mean, I updated the weekly check in. This is what it looks like. It is print in color. So keep that in mind whenever you go to download um, this weekly check-in, you can print it in color or you can print it in black and white. Um, I hole punched it for this planner here. And if you've been following along with me on our um, Money Mondays, I've been using it weekly. Um, I didn't use it for the past couple of weeks only because um, I've just been kind of busy. So I'm going to take a sheet out. Well, I'm going to leave a sheet out. And then I'm going to add the rest of them into um, a planner here. <clears throat> so for today, I wanted to give you guys, um, you know, the weekly check-in and also add a little bit of ambiance. So here you can see it printed in black and white. And this was the old one, but I can use either one. But I felt as though um, I wanted you to have it the correct way and for it to be doable for you trying to put too many pages in at one time so let's get started um now also we're in we're still in october i did not fill out my bills for october i just kind of wrote some things in. i didn't use any stickers so i have some stickers there and i'm going to get any stickers that i need and which i don't think i need any right now Okay, you guys, so also you can find this pen in my shop. This is an MNG and this is 0.35. So let's get started with the week. Um, I, I added the week here and made it so that you can put in whatever week it is that you are working with. That way you can keep up when you go back to look at your finances. So this week we are the week of the 19th through the 25th. Now you can add if it's October, but I just like to leave the date because I know that it's October, but I'm just gonna put a slash over here just in case. Okay, so the first thing this week that is important is my car note. It is due on the 20th. So we have the day column here. We have the bill due, the amount, and paid. Um, I've described this sheet in um, a previous money Monday before or any type of budget with me, but I want to just explain it more so now so that um, it's been updated and for those who are new to the channel and they've never seen me use this. So what I do here is I write the date that the bill is due. Okay guys, so I don't know where I got cut off at, but um, I just wanted to show you. So here's where you list the date that the bill is due. Here you will write the bill, the name of the bill, the amount, and what I like to do with the pay section is I like to write <clears throat> whether I paid cash, um, how much it was, because sometimes I'm guesstimating that it may be one thing, but then over here where it's paid at, I can write in the correct amount and then plus, plus excuse me, put a check. Here in the notes section, I like to add some things that may um, interfere with my budget, what I have planned, some things that may just come up, some reminders, whatever, whatever I need to put here, that's what I use this section for here. So let's get started. So again, the first thing is my car note that is on the 20th. And you can also put in the number amount and you can slash it 
and put the date. If you're more of a um, day of the week type of person, I go more so on the number, but if you're a day of the week person, you can put that date in, which will be Tuesday. So here you see I have the 20th on Tuesday and that bill is car note. And the amount is 181.60. And then when I pay it or it's come, it, it is paid, excuse me, I can put with the paid section is so many options. Um, that's why you left it as paid, not anything like plus minus or anything like that. Because so many things that you can do with this section, like I said, you can put whether it came out of a checking account, you can add the checking account number, you can just put a check if it's the correct amount, or you can just write in a different amount if it came out differently. The next thing we have on the 21st, which is Wednesday, Again, feel free to use the section however you want. You can just put the number or you can put the day. Um, the 21st, which is Wednesday, I have a, another loan through the credit union and it is 9611. Now, what I like to do sometimes is I'll just give them 100, but now I have them taking it directly out. Um, I may, you know, I can always pay extra on that bill. So, the 21st, again, that's Wednesday. And then that is that bill. And other than that, that's pretty much all that I have to pay this week. No, it's not. Let me back up. I have my booth rent, which is due on Saturday, the 24th. Even though I'm part-time, Lord Jesus, where's my white out? Okay, so I whited that out. And the 24th is Saturday, and it's Booth Ranch. And the owner of the salon, she's been nice enough to bring the cost down just a little bit because of COVID. And we actually worked our way up to this. So I'm just gonna whip out my little calendar, I mean my calendar, Lord have mercy. My calculator over here on the side since I'm using my phone to record today. So I have 181.60 plus 96. So, so far that's 400. $42.71, but I want to put up $300, um, so what I'll do is I'll just use Saturday's date, so see how I did here, I just left it at $24, and I'm saving to um, pay my daughter's rent, so I can put saving and then rent, and it needs to be at least $300, I'll see if I can get four, so... When I add the three on, we have 742.71. Now, what I like about this is because, um, which I meant to add actually, you can take a highlighter. I just didn't want to like limit you on your space too for much, but I like to do a highlight here and put total. Maybe I need to update again. What y'all think? <laughs> I need to update that the total box. It's uh, 700. I'll move that to this lane. $42.71. And so here are my note section. Let me zoom out. Here are my note section. I'm going to um, make a note of Destiny's Rent. My daughter's name is Destiny. Destiny's Rent. First, and I think it's nine hundred dollars. And um, I'm gonna make a note. You need to save three hundred to five hundred dollars. <sighs> Don't know how it's gonna happen, but moms, as moms, we always make some shake for our children. So. She's out of work right now, and um, it was kind of unexpected. So, people left her in a bind, but I'm trying to catch the slack. 
So let's find where we're gonna put this. I'll put this right after. Y'all always get a little nervous with um, <laughs> with um, a candle around paper. Like I see people do it, I'm like, Lord, I'm way too clumsy for a candle. But here we are. I just like to, I want to start putting myself in a good mood when I'm budgeting, you know, to feel a little better about my finances. At least that's a trick that I'm going to try to use. So this is it. Let me try to get in here without setting something on fire. So this is our weekly budget. And I have everything listed here except for here on the 21st. I need to list it. Um, maybe for the credit units too. Also, I need to find my stickers here. I'm just gonna flip to October and um, add those stickers because I don't know about y'all, but I need some little colorful reminders sometimes. Just sometimes. And I'm also gonna go back and use, I'm using my paid stickers. Um, I designed these for when things were paid and I needed to see if they were paid and I couldn't remember. So, or if I paid it early. So I'm just gonna go back through the month and add paid stickers. And like the Barclays was due on Saturday, like I paid it on the 15th. I also paid my Capital One. And you can actually use these and just put it over top of the actual um, bill. However, whatever works for you. Um, the card note was paid as well. And I will be designing some more paid stickers. Um, someone sent me a um, email about having them in different colors for certain bills. And I thought that was a great idea. So I'll be adding those. So we don't need those anymore. So for this week, I'm going to use these do stickers for that. Oops. And these were printed on the wrong paper. So I'm trying to use those up. And as you can see, I took a green pen and wrote in my paydays, but I'm going to take these um, dollar sign stickers. I use these in my weekly um, plans to highlight um, payday. And I have one on Tuesday and I have one on Monday. So there we go. And I don't know if I'm gonna have a paycheck next week, but we will see. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. So this is what my monthly is looking like. It's very bland and plain and bland, but this works for me when it comes to my budget. Um, again, here is the weekly check-in. And again, I will check these things off, highlight them, whatever, as soon as they come through and they aren't done. But right now, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are looking to get on track with your finances, let's do it together. Check in here every Monday for Money Mondays and let's get our budgets and our lives in order. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy today's content and you would love to see more from myself, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.